I will be exploring this abandoned Sears that's now been turned into a Spirit Halloween. Previously, I visited an abandoned Toys R Us that was also a Spirit Halloween. And what's great about this is that it gives you the chance to see the inside of these buildings. I found some old Toys R Us stuff last time, so I'll be doing the same thing here with Sears. And you won't believe how much has been untouched since they closed four years ago. But before we see any of that, I'll be looking around this Spirit Halloween location. Right as you walk in, you'll see the typical animatronics in the front. The ringmaster on the left, where he opens his jacket to show you the souls he got or something but you can never see the screen so it just looks like he's opening up his jacket for no reason and then on the right is Ghostface. i remember they had one back in 2011 and he was one of my favorites so i'm happy to see him again and this one actually works it's been a hit or miss with this one working but he does as you make your way along you run into this giant wheel which of course you have to spin but the top is broken so it'll just spin forever yeah i give up i'm gonna move on behind the wheel is this scarecrow that's not really my favorite his design is is nothing crazy and all he does is move his head surprisingly though this one also works and i say that because just like ghostface sometimes he doesn't move next to the scarecrow is the biggest animatronic this year and that is this alien it's 10 feet tall and i actually had to crouch down to get this shot because i'm also 10 foot never felt the need to mention that before but i guess now is the right time on the other side you have a very simple animatronic her name is dark princess and she jumps up to scare you honestly these are some of my favorite ones because they actually scare people i prefer the ones like this and the jumping spider that move quickly right away rather than them talking for 10 minutes before the jump scare that's why another favorite of mine this year is this witch that jumps really high into the air but unfortunately that's not at this location instead they have this big skeleton named the demonic gatekeeper that rises up and says some stuff he's actually pretty cool looking and i'm glad i got to see him in person but i wouldn't say he's one of my favorites of all time behind them you have the carnival section with the spinning ducks in the back and i always say it this is my least favorite animatronic this year to me he's too simple simple to be scary and doesn't do anything that makes him worth the price maybe if he had some motion it would be better but he doesn't so he just stands there and lights up next to him is art the clown who's really getting a lot of attention recently with the new movie about him coming out because of that this animatronic is basically sold out everywhere and hard to find i can see spirit halloween bringing this one back next year and at the end is the sitting scarecrow where you put your hand in the bowl and he jumps up simple but i like it and now we have the third and final section where the most animatronics are First up is Cotton Candy Dan, where you think he's just a creepy clown until you get jump scared by the face in the cotton candy. I actually saw many people getting scared by this one while doing these videos, so I guess this animatronic does what it's supposed to. In the middle is this big spider. It's big and it's a spider. Not much else to say. At the end is Nibbles the Clown, where he's supposed to follow you around with his head. Unfortunately, I've seen this one not work very often, and this store is no different. Around the other side is Pinocchio, I, I mean Bobby Strings, and I like the look of this one, but it was broken. I mean, I barely could step on the foot pad, but it was definitely not moving. In the middle is Corpse Bride, where they talk to each other, but they are sold separately. So you have to buy both if you want the full set. However, they do look really good, and is definitely one of my favorites this year. Now, normally next to them is the Jumping Spider, but it wasn't there. I always love seeing that spider, just because it's been around for so long, but they didn't have it. So I sadly had to move on to the final animatronic, and that's Barnaby the Bear. He balances himself on this ball, but take a guess, he didn't work. At least he was loud. <laughs> The whole store could hear this guy. So that was all the animatronics on display. Now I'll be checking out the ones they have for sale, as well as all the decorations and costumes. Let's take a look. Over here in this first pile, they have Emily from The Corpse Bride. Two of these ghost faces, which are actually different from the one that's set up. I think he just stands there and lights up. And then you have one of the ghost faces that slashes its knife. And then the final thing in this pile is this groundbreaking worm from Nightmare Before Christmas. He just sits there in the ground. In the next pile, you have this ghost at the bottom you have Barnaby the bear. Over on this side, you have the gravestone ghoul. This reminds me of an animatronic back in the day. He would sit behind a tombstone and then rise up behind it. And then at the bottom, you have giant death ray. On the next pile, they have a bunch of them, actually. You have man's possessed friend. You have three of these foam coffins. And at the end, you have four of these fogging skull piles. Making our way over to the third pile, you have Mr. Punchy. I can't believe they still even have one in stock. At the bottom, you have this witch. I've never seen that on display. I guess this one was because it's on sale because it broke while it was on display. So I guess I missed my only chance right there. And then you have probably the biggest box of them all, the Ringmaster. Over here at the end, they have two of these big spiders. And the final pile is over here with a bunch of random stuff. You have the Black Heart, the Empty Soul Girl on a Swing. They have two of those, actually more. It just keeps going around. You got Ghostly Girl on a Swing. You got another girl on a Swing. And the final thing right here in the middle is Stilts the Clown. Now that I've seen everything animatronic related, let's move on to all the merchandise they have. I guess 
first we can look at these bobbleheads. I never really looked at this stuff too much, but you got a ghost face one and a bunch of other characters. This I feel like is really rare to see a Halloween one item. It's always Halloween two. Almost anywhere you look, it's gonna be Halloween two. Here's something I don't think I've ever seen from a spirit before in the past. It's just plants. I didn't even know this was a thing, but they have it here. In the middle here, they have some of these hanging characters like the skeleton. Then you got this really big mouth witch and you even have these zombies that got all tangled up and now they're dead. I feel like I see this one every single year. And at the end of all of that, you have Jack the Reaper himself, the logo of Spirit Halloween. This might be my favorite hanging thing they have this year. Over here, they have a bunch of Haunted Mansion stuff. I've been on this ride twice before. I've never seen any of the movies though. But right on the other side is all the Beetlejuice stuff. You got Beetlejuice Monopoly right here. You got this Beetlejuice bull. Oh, I thought the arm was gonna move, but it's just a statue. And then, of course, at the end, you have some of the zombie babies. This one plays peekaboo with you. Uh, the arms are a little broken. I think it's actually messed up. Over here, this one's eating a hand. This one's got a bunch of bugs. Here's a dead rat. You got this one that sits there. And then ghost face and it, if they were babies. You got some of these hands that move around. This thing that lights up and shocks you. It's crazy. It's actually electric. I didn't see this one on the floor over there, but it's the swinging witch. They love swinging characters. They're gonna need the swinging jumping spider soon. I'm waiting for that. I'll buy it. But right here might be my favorite thing. Here's Ghost Swing. That's it. Forget about the characters. Let's just have the swing itself. Spirit Halloween loves swings. And now with all of that, I have one final thing to look at, and it's the costumes and masks. Of course, these funny costumes have been around for the longest time. I mean, how are you not going to laugh at hot dog, pizza, pineapple, or even this dinosaur? Has anyone actually wore this as their Halloween costume? They have all the foods you can imagine, but not just that. They have different foods. If you're a couple, so you can get milk and cookies, chips and salsa, all the common nations. Even this one, you've got trash. This hat you think's gonna be really cool. I always thought that when I was younger, but then I actually tried it out one time and it was terrible. You try to drink it, but it just doesn't stop. And then of course you have all the masks and they actually have some pretty good ones here. I mean, this one looks like the cheapest thing ever, but other ones are pretty good. Like I've always liked the look of these Star Wars ones. I think they're really well done. And this is pretty surprising. I was right about to say they always have Halloween too, but I look down here and they have the original. I've never seen this much stuff for the original film ever. Maybe companies are starting to get the rights now. Now, as for anything related to Sears, there unfortunately wasn't much. Of course, you had the sign out front, which honestly, I can't believe is still there. This sign above the door that says Sears, but the best thing was behind this curtain and that seeing the rest of the store still completely intact. It looks like nothing's been touched since it closed and Spirit themselves don't even use this area, as you can see with this gate blocking the entrance. Also, randomly, I saw this at another location. It's an old Friday the 13th animatronic in the store. I didn't know where else to put this footage, so here you go. Hope you enjoyed Make sure to subscribe and I am now selling merch. Click the link in the description to get yours today.